Hey guys, in today's video, I will reviewing the top 8 best hitch bike rack. I made this list based on my personal experience and I tried to random base on my quality, durability, customer reviews and more. If you know about the best pricing and more information, you can check the description link below. Number 8 in my list is Yakima Dr. Trey 2 Bike Rack. At the very top of Yakima's expansive hitch rack lineup is the Dark Tray. Featuring movable tray platforms, an easy-to-use tilt-down lever that resembles the one on Thule's T2 Pro above, and a total weight that undercuts our top picks by 10 to 15 pounds, the rack has a lot going for it. We also like the EZ Plus One extension, which allows you to expand its carrying capacity to three bikes with only a 9-pound weight penalty, for an additional $259. The Doctray's $599 price tag puts it among the more expensive in this grouping, but its full feature set and low weight make it an intriguing option for dedicated riders. In getting the Doctray's weight down to an impressive 34 pounds, Yakima did unfortunately have to compromise the stout feeling typically associated with platform racks. In particular, the thin arms that secure the front wheels feel flimsy and cheap and don't lock the bikes as solidly into place as others. And on the road, we've noticed they're more prone to wobbling while driving than more solidly built competitors like the Kuat NV 2.0. We understand that sacrifices are necessary to trim weight, but it feels like Yakima took it a little too far in this case. Number 7 in my list is Saris Super Clamp Bike Rack. Saris may not be as popular as Yakima and Thule, but they carved out a nice segment of the market with their competitive prices and creative designs. The Superclamp EX4 is one of their leading platform style racks that differs from our top picks above with its ability to carry four bikes on a set of two platforms, rather than having only one bike on a platform. For each bike, arms secure over the tires, no concerns about frame contact, and wheel straps serve as backup for hauling heavier e-bikes, models with fenders, or if you have bikes with very different wheelbases. And what we like most about the Super Clamp is its minimalist and relatively lightweight build that takes up a surprisingly small amount of space behind your vehicle and is easy to store in your garage. The main shortcoming of the design is it that the bikes are placed very close together and it can be a pain to limit side-to-side -side contact. Further, as we touched on above, there are limitations with the arm design if you'll be hauling bikes with different wheelbases, for example, a long travel adult mountain bike and a kid's bike. Number six in my list is Yakima Full Swing 4 Bike Rack. Hanging style racks are known for their simplicity and affordable price tags, but the feature rich Yakima Full Swing 4 bucks that trend. Like the Rocky Mounts backstage above, the rack's calling card is its swing-away feature that provides easy access to the vehicle. Further, you get included bike locks, a receiver lock, and its secure strap system is one of the best in the business. Don't expect the same easy loading or wobble-free experience as a platform-style rack, but the full Swing 4 is a well-built design that should keep most people happy. As with any hanging style hitch rack, there's no avoiding the fact that the full swing 4 makes direct contact with your bike's frame. It does have padded arms, but those only help so much, and frame scuffs are inevitable. And as with the ridge back above, a top tube adapter is necessary if you'll be hauling bikes with irregularly shaped top tubes, which unfortunately is most full suspension bikes nowadays. Number 5 in my list is Yakima Stage 2 Bike Rack. We've tested a lot of Yakima racks over the years, but it was clear from the first time we used the Stage 2 that this design was a step above in terms of quality and innovation. On the surface, it's a fairly standard looking platform rack, not unlike their long-standing holdup. But there are some serious upgrades here, including e-bike compatibility with a very high weight capacity, 70 IB, per bike in the 2 inches, version an optional ramp add-on $89 and noticeably high quality parts throughout. Even the locking knob for the hitch receiver is improved. Bike loading is easy with adjustable trays that can be offset to avoid bike-to-bike -bike interference and the tiered profile limits the risk of hitting the rack on steep driveways or back roads. If you prioritize a high weight capacity and long-lasting parts, the Stage Clue deserves to be at or near the top of your list. What's keeping the Stage 2 from taking one of our top spots? Number 4 in my list is Kuat Bike Rack. 
Quat is a leader in the platform rack market and their signature product is the NV2.0. This premium design checks all the right boxes. Its materials have a high quality feel. The rack stays solidly in place even on bumpy forest service roads and the adjustable wheel cradles make it easy to avoid bike to bike contact. In addition, Kuat included extras like integrated cable and receiver locks and a unique bike stand for quick repairs at the trailhead. Note, this piece is not locked to the rest of the rack, so we often stored the stand inside our vehicle. Finally, we'd be remiss not to mention that the NV is easily one of the better looking racks available, especially in the gray metallic colorway. Like 1UP's heavy duty above, the Kuat goes head to head with our top rated Thule T2 Pro XTR. Both the T2 and NV2.0 are very user-friendly and have long-lasting builds, although we have found the Thule is a little more versatile. Number 3 in my list is Thule Easy Fold XT2 Bike Rack. Reflecting the growing popularity of heavy e-bikes and large fat bikes, Thule released the Easy Fold XT2. The big news here is the included ramps that allow you to push your bikes onto the platforms rather than having to lift them off the ground. The ramps are quick to deploy, do a nice job guiding the bikes up and down, and store easily on the rack while driving. In addition, the Easy Fold is among the simplest to store. The platform sides fold upwards in half and an integrated handle allows you to carry the rack short distances with one hand. With a load capacity of 130 pounds between two bikes, the Easy Fold checks all the boxes for a heavy hauler. What are the compromises with the Easy Fold's design? To start, it's easily one of the most expensive ways to carry two bikes, and therefore is not a good value unless you need or want the ramps. Moreover, there's no option to add an extension to the XT2, which means that two bikes are your hard ceiling and you'll need to buy another rack if you want to carry more. Number two in my list is Rocky Mount's Bike Rack. When the Rocky Mount's backstage was released, the rack created quite a stir in the industry. It was one of the first platform racks to incorporate a side swinging mechanism into the design. Think of an arm that swings away from your vehicle to allow for total access to the rear of your car. And it's worth noting that this functionality still isn't available from big hitters like Yakima or Thule. Furthermore, the backstage comes with many features you'd expect from a premium hitch rack. A cable lock, although not integrated, the ability to carry various types of bikes and wheel sizes, sturdy ratcheting arms, and quality materials and construction overall. Adding the swing away functionality to a hitch mounted rack does come with compromises. The Rocky Mount's backstage is 10 to 20 pounds heavier than most other platform style racks, and therefore you will not want to remove it from your vehicle very often, or without help. Another quibble we have is that the lock is not integrated into the rack. Number one in my list is Yakima Ridge Back 4 Bike Rack. Overall, we prefer the platform style for its ease of loading and superior all-around stability, but high-capacity Haney models are the clear leaders in terms of value. Among the options on the market, Yakima's Ridgeback is a longtime favorite. It features a durable build, reasonable price, and anti-sway design that limits bike movement while on the road. Further, we think Yakima has the best cradle system which includes ratchet-style straps to securely hold the bike's top tube to the rack. Priced at a reasonable $379 for the 4-bike version, the Ridgeback offers double the capacity of the Thule T2 Pro above for hundreds less. What's not to like with the hanging-style Ridgeback 4? An adapter is necessary to carry full suspension mountain bikes, step-through bikes, or smaller kids' models, which adds a significant amount to the overall investment. Top tube adapters are about $50 each. Moreover, there is very little space between the bikes when they're loaded, which can lead to rubbing and damage to the paint. Stepping up to the Ridgeback 5 gets you a little more wiggle room with four bikes loaded. But it's hard to ignore the Ridgeback's track record of reliable performance and value, which makes it our top hanging hitch rack. Alright guys, this we are today's videos. If you find this video helpful for you, then like the video, and if you come to our channel first time, then hit the subscribe button for amazing incoming video. Be sure to check out the link in the description for the updated price of all products discussed in this video. Hope you have a great day and see you soon in the next video.